Hello and welcome, I'm Dalton and today we are back on some new content about KSP2. But before we really restart, I want to address a few things here and that is performance that we talked about. At that point yesterday, I missed one video that is showing very important thing that we should address at the beginning of this life. So let's move forward to very important part here. SW Davies, uh, Davies it was, uh, created a very short video from the ESA event where he showed us some settings as well, really nice performance overview that some of you really addressed in the comment section under the few posts and under the video. So I want to go through that as well. Uh, hi AJ, hi Jacob, uh, hi Creator, and hi Lifeless. <laughs> so as you can see, let's pause it here. We have more or less everything that we need to know. They played on, of course, on full screen with everything enabled uh, with uh, one, uh, two, uh, 2560 to 1440 resolution. Only VSync is off. Everything else in the game was set to high or on, as you can see. And well, that's more or less it. So we know those clouds are the top of the top details we will get. And that scares me already. It's so, it's so low quality, I would say to be honest. But okay, let's go forward because he will be showing here a few things as well. Let's start here. He created during that time a rocket with 151 parts and that's very important. As we are having procedural parts, we reduced count of the parts we need to fly, to be honest. So you know from the early days of KSP1, we really had like uh, plans for 1000, 2000 parts just to go to space. And of course, the procedural parts for the tanks and everything else makes this simpler and should be an ease on the requirements, but it's not really the case in, in the sequel, to be honest. And let's see how it will really go here. I already will warn you, please have a look here on the left top because that will be the most important part here. And again, yeah, show FPS. Uh, so he is showing here exactly 20 frames per second. Tops, 21, barely sometimes. Really, really? This is performance on the highest uh, CPU from uh, AMD and RTX 4080. Come on. They are joking us. Really? It's it's a joke. How can this be? The top of the top hardware and it's barely having 20 FPS. So they want us to uh, like wait 5 years before we will play this game when we have RTX 9000 or something or next generation chips. I would say no-go, uh, definitely no-go. So I already starting a very important question and I would like to get answers from you. Uh, oh, hi, big uh, J rocks. Who of you is still willing to buy the game day one? Who of you will wait like to full release when it's optimized much better than, than this? And who of you will, well, not buy the game? Please leave a message in the chat. I, I wonder how many of you have which uh, new, uh, let's say, a status of that uh, wish list uh, on Steam or maybe on Epic because, uh, yeah, this doesn't look that good, right? Still, I will try my best on my GTX 1080 Ti uh, day one, so on Friday, so be there or not. Okay, let's go for the next uh, footage from Scott Manley, of course. Um, we love him for his good work with the KSP1 and, well, the space uh, topics uh, in general. 
uh, day one here GTX uh, 6000 Super. Yeah, you will not be able to play this in low settings, uh, to be honest. I showed that graph yesterday, the, the picture, and it's still available on my socials uh, here on the channel. So let's go, let's have a look what uh, Scott built. And this is, I think, his rocket. And I think this is a very nice uh, camera mode that he's showing here right now. And that as well looks good. So for the content creators, there will be an option to have very nice footage from different angles that are moving and everything else. And that's great. Um, but of course, that was uh, pre-recorded, so <laughs> I got you now. Okay, this is the real footage from Scott, uh, to be honest. And of course, he, he made some extra shots here, so we will just go forward, sorry for that. And some explosions that also pre-recorded from everything else, so let's skip this. And of course, let's go forward. Now we see Scott Manley ready, to be honest, and okay. Let's go to training center and that's the first thing we should uh, have a look about the game because for now I didn't see anyone really showing us this like what exactly we will have in the tutorials because training center is the tutorial system in the game looks pretty nice very nice even <clears throat> and we have four categories so for uh, for now uh, so space uh, as a place to go so visiting different places in the Kerbal system missing the ground probably will be going to space suborbital maybe something like that or just planes orbit uh, orbits are weird so moving from Kerbin to other planets or moons and of course orbital transfers uh, probably mm, docking and that kind of stuff maybe deploying properly, I really don't know. But yes, this is something that was not shown so far and it's good to know that how it will look and uh, how many tutorials we will get. And let's have a look here. Uh, 15 bucks is a little much. Well, I found out that there's already one shop that is giving a February discount, 15% off for the main price of the game. So it will be like 42 50-ish um, bucks, so really a nice cut, uh, to be honest. And as you can see here, Scott has as well, um, more or less not the problem, but the physics kicking in, as the nozzle here gimbals, the rocket is unstable and moves around. And of course, that's something we already knew, but it's more confirmed for very small vehicle as well, that it's really a thing and no longer it will be that nice to well launch without some clamps to be honest and let's go <clears throat> very nice uh, visualization here for all waterfall lovers <laughs> yeah this will take our breath away i wonder how it will be on low settings because maybe really really ugly just don't know but on his game we can see he has no problems with pause and unpause and those are here hints from the tutorial as you can see going up and down and that that's great it's very visual so the tutorials will really allow the newcomers to get into the game very much so uh, it's very nice that he has show he's showing us really the tutorial how it will work and well the the tasks at hand for brave pilots to be honest because this one will fail but of course scott, scott would not be scott if he would not do something extra here and of course he's just flying and targeting the famous airfield if you already noticed this <clears throat> so let's jump a little forward so let's see the airfield from a closer look and here it is. Okay, he's um, oh no, he still has some juice here. So he is coasting to that airfield. And yes, this will be a thing still in KSP. But I wonder can we launch from there or not? Okay. Let's check the chat. Um, um, Improvement note uh, recommended <laughs> is, of course, no. This is high um, performance uh, recommendation is 
uh, 1440p, yes. Uh, uh, so that's currently the highest settings you can use. Uh, there is no information or indication that you can play with a good frame rate uh, well in 4K. Please also remember that all of those rockets that they designed or used uh, as predefined rockets really have like less than 50 parts. I would say more if we have a look here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, well, maybe 30 parts and that's it. This is how, how much parts is here on this rocket, to be honest. So five times more and the frame rate is 20. So currently he's probably squeezing here maybe 60 and I saw 60 is the limit as there is a limiter. So he's having a very nice experience, but if they would build something bigger, that would fail and we would see really, uh, yeah, a bad performance on those videos. And as well, uh, I don't think no one um, broke the um, NDA agreement because, um, as I said earlier, most of the um, YouTubers that were invited they all posted at the same time, so they their NDA um, was probably already gone at that time point. So <laughs> they used the best out of uh, the visit as they were allowed to record and take their recordings with them. But okay, let's leave that and let's see. Yeah, first Scott maybe was the first first recorded crash landing on the island because there will be a second island uh, well landing. Uh, later on, so stay tuned. And I don't know who was first, really, because there is no timestamp on both of those. So uh, we don't know, to be honest, who landed first on on the island, who crashed first on the uh, on the island. There were like 40 people there, 30, 40 people invited to this event. So and we just know about few of them, what they did and um, how the game behaved. <clears throat> no, I'm not actually playing Mr. Joe. Uh, this is a recorded footage currently from Scott Manny. And uh, I wanted to jump forward, to be honest, uh, to show you new things and not the old things. But this is really uh, a very nice uh, information about the tutorials. And this is a normal sandbox play right now um, that we moved uh, gently and without noticing as it was pre cut it and not my cut. So let's just move forward. We know this already from yesterday regarding uh, tra Hoffman transfers to other celestial bodies. And yeah, exactly. Scott uh, is as first showing us the Minmus up close uh, because he decided to go there and land on the flattest moon there is. And as you can see, um, yeah, he's he's having an indicator where he presumably will crash. Let's have a look how good the rocket is, because it doesn't have too much power. You see, it's barely 10%, and on 10% trust, he is landing. We don't know the TVR, unfortunately, not now at least, but already he's saying four times speed. So it's already very slow uh, descent, to be honest. And I wonder, is it four times speed because the physics is so bad or the game is so laggy? Because I remember my early days with KSP1 and to be honest, uh, when the framework dropped, uh, the game time slowed down a lot. And I think some of you who are playing on laptops with integrated graphic cards, they are just like a poor potato. You know the feeling, right? Uh, and I think uh, that's that's really it. And of course, this is a very nice representation of a moon buggy. So it's a predefined design, this lander as well. So it's nice to see with those uh, beefy legs. And another rocket that was uh, created probably by the developers themselves. And we remember this one, right? From the TikTok. So it's very nice uh, to see and uh, there's a very nice almost like X-Wing <laughs> plane design and this is what he did himself. So a tiny plane that can go anywhere. I think so. It can go because uh, I don't remember the footage uh, showing really flying this one. But uh, yes, so you can see 
uh, we will be having many micro challenges so 10 tons or uh, 2 tons or less and uh, as you can see here really the wing the wings can be modified on like 16 or maybe 14 different or no, no, 10 different um, position, positions so angle length uh, uh, from the tip from root port and uh, the, the shape can be really changed you see controllable surfaces so many many options here to configure our wings and yeah he's flying it and as you can see automatic sas is giving him a little hard time i think because it doesn't perform that good but here we, here we have another design that works pretty nice but still those are like 20 parts or less and we need to remember that very very much so let's have a look still on the chat um, big BR anus uh, sorry I don't speak the language uh, so I cannot tell what you wrote mm, and uh, yeah I will buy KSP2 day one because I want to stream it for you to show you as well uh, how the game behaves and yeah what can we squeeze out of it with semi uh, level hardware like I am having like uh, four or five years old to be honest yeah, because I think the average player will have that kind of setup. So it would be nice to, from one point, to show you that and from the other to really see, do I need an upgrade to RTX 4080 or can I still live with what I have? That's the one thing. And that's why I'm asking you, will you buy it still if you know the quirks or will you not? And as well, uh, who is currently on total no-go? because the game performance is very poor and well unbalanced and we will never know how good it will be uh, currently of course uh, in the next few years when will they improve performance or will the performance improve with time at all because this is an unknown to be honest everything can happen right like we had on one of the videos everything can happen fridays this is everything can happen ksp they may decide never to improve uh, performance too much and well just wait for better graphic card uh, generations so next two three generations that will keep up the pace with this game that can be it i really don't know okay let's have a look uh, another one and the game will be yes 49.99 um, for everyone yes then when it's full release it will be 10 bucks more so it's 59.99 unless they decide to even uh, charge even more uh, this can happen no one said it's a fixed uh, promise and let's have a look here you see all of those vehicles that there they are on the main screen if i recall correctly so really uh, we have the whole set and let's just go back here to be honest so come on uh, here so we have a very nice big uh, station with fuel tanks we have our main screen uh, multi-purpose vehicle we have a lander apollo style a little we have something new for i think duna a beefy cargo rocket probably on the top we have an even bigger rocket so maybe this is oh this is starship here and that may be just interplanetary transfer ship who knows okay uh, scott would not be scott if he would not try the docking so he did that without any indicators as you can see mm, and let's just quickly jump to the chat as well um bu -bu 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 -bum -bum -bum. Uh, in pounds i think it's 42 or something i, I don't really remember um yes i will show you the big nuclear engine later on uh, because there are now two and they're really not nuclear engines anymore they are hydrogen engines aha spoiler alert um so stay tuned we will go to that footage as well and then meanwhile uh, there will be some regional prices of course but they will be really locked to those regions so more poor regions and everybody else will have a global uh, license uh, this is how it works to be honest so only uh, regional locking will be for regions that uh, cannot afford the game at full price as it is for western countries let's say and that's it and it will be geo locked for activation 
activation only as always. Okay. Uh, like I said, um, uh, Julian Ion, I think it's Julian, Lulian, sorry. <laughs> uh, there is a picture in the social, you can check uh, in how uh, RTX uh, 3060 will be more or less in performance. Uh, hello, Leon. And yeah, all the ESA footage is with the game in debug mode. Yes and no, I think Scott put his game beyond debug mode because he didn't have many quirks there and that was the thing to be honest. Um, this is the Evelander from one of, the, one of the missions of the tutorial. As I said, everyone had the same setup for the uh, configuration and for the, those uh, tutorial missions. And here we have the only footage from, oh wait, a very short one, <laughs> from how the clouds are visible and how they seem to be on EVE. So they are like uh, clustering on top of each other, as you can see, like layers going up, and something like waves, uh, and but just with clouds. I don't know if it's really nice or not, as I already know how thin those uh, clouds are. Uh, I'm not impressed, to be honest. Uh, I don't know how you are, but this buggy, and to be honest, uh, is a, a very nice one, but I will show you one more thing. Because of course, those footages are changing as they were cut it. And this is as well a landing attempt by another person and it's yeah from preview event of course let's go so this rover was never tested and it's very short footage as you can see as well let's just try maybe ksp1 to ksp2 yes we know this is it so the plume very nice uh, we all will love this in the new game mm, but maybe we oh yeah this is another footage of those clouds as you can see layer on top of layer on top of layer like a skin of some reptile i would say even this is how it works on eve but it's very thin to be honest as we could just see on carbine it just is just a very poor texture the newest eve alpha mod for ksp1 is 10, 10 times better i just don't know why they didn't do it this way really don't know but still mm. And as you can see, uh, moving forward too fast. This is the main ship for the mission, for the landing going back. And look at this. This craft is so tiny and should be able to land and go back, most probably. So it's really odd. What are those engines? Uh, because we know that we cannot build that small craft to really have, I think here, here can we, we can have, sorry, we can have four Kerbals ish, or it's a cargo, hard to tell, but still doesn't look like it's capable of coming back from, from Eve. And unfortunately from this player's uh, footage is very dissected and he's jumping here and there. So let's just uh, avoid building because we will have a lot of that uh, but still, ah, this is a little different design of a rocket. And as well, we will see here two things. One is the clouds that we should be passing uh, at some point. And like I said, it looks like it's volumetric, but it just looks like that. It's very thin and it's really not that volumetric as we would like to have it. It's just a very thin layer of clouds and I think there is one footage that will show us how thin it is and it's un un unimpressive. And again, we... Uh, let's have a look here. Yeah, it's easy access, we know, okay. So, yeah, this is very nicely cut, but... Yeah, uh, we can see, I think, first time the whole jewel system and one thing here that I didn't notice earlier here on the top we always see the star system so I'm pointing here <laughs> then we can see the celestial body we are in the main one and if it's a moon normally we should see here uh, the name of the moon and then the vehicle but he's probably just jumping around the solar system with the tab so 
that is just providing false information so always look at the cursor with the name and this is ELO uh, so the furthest mm, planetary body we have and it looks really nice really shiny mm, of course yeah jumping back it doesn't work uh, ideally and well that's uh, the only footage of any other planet from this guy uh, unfortunately mm, yeah Oh, maybe here will be something regarding the clouds let me just check because i saw it somewhere and i cannot just remember right now uh, still not that good and not that impressive unfortunately from afar it looks good but is it really uh, no no definitely no but okay let's go here and of course this is a joke ladies and gentlemen this is how it should look like in ksp2 with that uh, much computing power this is how uh, clouds should be with thunderstorms, uh, shades and everything else. This is possible. And this uh, sneak, uh, sneaky uh, footage from a different game shows us, of course. And this was only to tease the, the people. And well, <laughs> he, he had us here at the first seconds. But OK, let's uh, focus for a moment uh, here. Like I said, Kerbal, Jewel, Tylo, we are on Tylo and uh, yesterday I was wrong for a second because I was thinking uh, it's Ike but I now see uh, those navigation information where we are in the in the galaxy right now we, we cannot just say solar system we will have a galaxy in Kerbal Space Program but uh, yeah those solar panels will never destroy and there is no re-entry heat uh, uh, effect so really yeah the game is still missing a lot this is like ksp.20 something where we could just drop down on eve without consequences with few truths and that's it yeah that was that was it if someone remembers those times 10 years ago but yeah this is how it was and uh, And as well, what we can see, uh, we will have, well, I will cry on my RX 590. Yeah, you will. Uh, you will try and until we have bigger solar systems and more, uh, uh, probably more rockets in the sky, it will perform better. The more parts, uh, the, the less performant the game will be. This is probably one of the Jules Moon, but I don't remember which one. Sorry, guys. This looks, uh, I think, uh, like Bob. Bob. I think this could be Bob. Uh, or this is Bob. Could be. Uh, here is Light Lady. So, yeah, here already we can see that the. No, we let's just go back here. The clouds and see the atmosphere doesn't look that impressive something didn't work here unfortunately but yeah those are those sneak peeks where we can really see uh, something is uh, well good or bad and here as well is the information on what kind of pc they played and let's go forward and what were the settings hopefully did he tell us that nope unfortunately no uh, maybe later mm. come on come on come on come on let's go let's go um we have again eve but we know this already but will we get some better footage of going through that atmosphere so like you can see here right now it, this is not that impressive still loading very very bad textures beneath us now we see some clouds oh now we see the preview build so like i said it was the top of the notch like ryzen 9 7 900 x RTX uh, are 40 IT with 32 gigs of RAM. So very good setup, to be honest. But still, come on, it should be much better. Even in debug mode, whatever. Come on, it should be much better. And those clouds are barely spawning on us. Yeah. Sorry, I need to drink because I'm speaking too much and my throat is a little sorrow already. But we know this effect already, and this is beautiful how those shoots behave. And this is A plus for the team. I love it already. Let's see how it will evolve with time. 
What I don't like and still we have that in the game are those uh, entry and exit points of the soy spheres and yeah, tutorials. This is very nice footage so uh, we can really aim the camera to very nice footage and this is something that uh, we could not do that much. Of course we could try but could not do it that much uh, precise in the KSP1 and uh, for that like I said for creators it will be a beautiful thing to well use the game in that sense so we can create beautiful footage as well when we are able of course due to the performance limitations okay so here we are again going to the moon to see how it looks so from the distance more or less it looks good but the textures when we are getting closer should be much nicer we remember parallax 2.0 and i would say parallax looks better than this and is for free for ksp one and now uh, when we have even very low slope so this is like five degrees that he's having here and due to the engine movement uh, his rocket is just flipping and Doing a save in the meanwhile doesn't pause the game and that's also very good to know because that may be a problem. Little braking may not be a thing later on but at the beginning those rockets will be probably a little indestructible I would say. So... Let's go forward from the chat MX110 nope nope and nope i don't think you will may you may not even get the uh, game running if the game detects um, and probably is detecting the type of the graphic card you may just get an information no no and no i will not start i think this could be it really that they are detecting a compatibility with some shaders and uh, directx and everything else and uh, due to that the game may not even load for you if you have very old uh, well graphic card it was val thank you creator it was val uh, okay i didn't manage to to see it uh, i had barely time to to see all the footage pre-live so sorry for that as well just just glimpse of them but let's just move forward here and uh, yeah we know this and as you can see here he disabled the clouds because probably either didn't look good for the for the player or were just well causing issues with the game or even worse performance uh, was so poor for the player that uh, I just don't remember whose live that was uh, sorry whose recording that was so I, I need to say it as a player I will leave all the links in the description so you know uh, the original sources you can watch them and hear the people out but as well we have the moon so we we already know the moon this is i think ike was it ike just for a moment uh, uh come on or minmus minmus i think it was minmus yes it is minmus so we already saw the minmus maybe another celestial body please will you show us something more than just minmus Come on, come on, Duna. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we will see Duna from. Oh, Ike, even even better. So, yeah, we have Ike. Ike looks pretty nice as well. So, in the meanwhile, let's see what's on the chat. So, no one is saying who will buy or not buy the game or who will wait. And it's totally confirmed. Dress will have some uh, rings. Well, one ring, to be honest. <coughs> and blah, blah, blah. can someone see the price of KSP on Steam? Uh, no, but it's pretty fine and was announced like already two years ago that the game is uh, for $49.99 dollars and uh, 49 euros, and this will be adapter adapted per uh, in for steam or epic uh, internal calculations so yeah that would be it so uh, how the steam or epic will re evaluate this price to your region 
is more or less known or unknown based on other games if you compare the prices. <coughs> Okay, so here we have every day's Astroneer footage. Uh, I removed half of it. I had a very few minutes for that. But still, uh, I just wanted to remove footage that is uh, less important for us. So we can see currently Moho. This is how new Moho looks. Uh, I don't think there is a Moho hall, uh, but uh, yeah, Moho ho. Mm, and uh, well, it's just bad that he showed us only this. Of course, VAB loads quickly, great, but for me, in KSP1, it loads even quicker. So, <laughs> I don't know what this footage sh should show us on the best PC there is, uh, but uh, I don't think it will be that fast, to be honest. I never had problems entering VAB, I clicked and it, there it was. But here we will get a nice footage uh, and comparison uh, of the sizes of all the crew cabins so it's nice to see how they look and to see those those graphic designs and creator just announced okay he will not buy this at the beginning he will buy this when colonies and science is available so stage three i would say uh, of the game progress okay as well good so hopefully my lies will be helpful for you to well explore the game a little earlier leon confirmed he will be buying so i'm not the only one that's good <laughs> and here what i like the most on this footage and i wonder if you will notice that that there will be at the beginning maybe not but there will be a problem here if you remember our decouplers, they were mostly totally hollow inside. And here we can definitely see we have much less space, uh, like on submarine, and really not that much can be used for payload deployment. And we will need to rethink and redesign many our projects if our uh, yeah, decouplers or uh, additional rings are designed this way and there will be occlusion detection then we will be screwed if they touch to each other yeah you got the leon you got the version of 13 oh you are one of the very early adopters i got it when it was i bought it when it was 118.3 but i played a very long the demo when it came out with dot uh, 17. <coughs> So at that point, when it's, the demo was official with that version, and then I, I bought the game. Okay, let's have a look here. As you can see, those the color coding parts are really helpful to quickly see what's bigger, what's smaller. And that will be very, very important, I think, for all of us. And this is very nice improvement very very nice as well it's separation uh, for engines that are metalox so methane and uh, watch our solid boost jet engines xenon and here we will see yeah on the one monopropellant uh, engine just for for show and of course for satellites xenon is still there but yeah we have here a very new the standard nerve engine let me just go back uh, quickly so hopefully i can catch this currently and so our lvn nerve engine it's still there esp is a little better i think it was 800 so far in space and in atmosphere it's 250 so as well much improvement i think it was uh, i don't remember if it was lower right now uh, from top of my head uh, i think the trust is as well higher was it 60 earlier or, uh, or am i remember this this wrong remember this or but still it's a little improvement based on what's in here and the core temperature is pretty low 1500 so we really need to have some cooling systems to use those engines and they are no longer nuclear ones they are really hydrogen engines now and of course there's a bigger version because this is small this is large 
And this one has the same cooling problem, but as well, well, ESP is tremendously high, I would say. Half of the Xenon as we know it. And that's very important for deep space travel. Okay, let's move forward here. Yeah, when I have a, like 30, 80 or 40, 60 or something, then yeah, I will see the big improvement there probably or maybe, maybe not. Uh, we will see, we will see. Uh, let's jump forward here. So this is how it looks like, the big one. And yeah, I wonder how good will it be, to be honest. Okay, let's go to really more important stuff because we will do a lot of designing later on since Friday. So we don't need to watch that, to be honest. But I think he's recreating the Starship uh, made in flight, uh, SN10, hopefully. 9, 10, what was it? 1, 9, 10, 11 was there and 15. Do I remember this correctly or is my, are my numbers wrong? But as you can see, we can uh, do a lot of changes here uh, during the design. So uh, much more time we will spend on designing than ever. And everything will be very, very important. So yeah, it no longer be that easy for some of us. Uh, hopefully importing other designs will be easier than it was earlier. And we will just select the files and that's it no longer opening the game folder etc hopefully uh, if not then we are doomed and only steam share or something like that or manual search where it is and will it work hopefully it will work but no one guarantees that uh, whenever the game goes to the next stage uh -huh, the game will be compatible with the earlier version of the game and that means we can lose all designs, all the progress, everything. And we cannot forget that. Okay, oh, those legs, like a robot. <laughs> okay, looks good. Let's see how it goes. And, 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 come on. Okay, I, I pushed a little forward, sorry. <laughs> but okay, I think this is a zoom, yeah. He zoomed in, so for some reason he doesn't want us to see the right side. And well, no gimbal on those engines. Interesting, interesting. Odd behavior, but I still don't know why it was re reduced to this part of the screen. So let's maybe go forward. Okay, now he's trying to land on the helipad and you like S and 10, yeah, full crash. So. As usual, business as usual. <laughs> yes, he did have an accident at this point, <laughs> exactly. So first uh, VAB crash landing. I think it was VAB. Mm, still a long way to go there. <laughs> Turning to Windows, uh, forcing him out of the game. Mm. Ah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, I didn't. I didn't have the pleasure to watch all of those materials. I barely have the time. Uh, there is so much things uh, to do uh, to prepare for the, yeah, uh, for the KSP2 launch. And I still have a rescue mission to perform, and I'm. I don't know when I will find the time for that. I need to do this like today. <laughs> maybe there will be another life after this one, like uh, well, half hour later just because I need to somehow squeeze it in into my schedule. Uh, vector, des vectors without gimbal. <laughs> yeah, pff, could be, could be. Why not? Uh, I'm normally disabling gimbal on vectors or limiting them on to very little. Okay, he put it here many small tanks. So here we can have like 50, wait, one, two, three, four, four parts times eight, okay, 32, no, here he can make having here 50 parts and we, oh, wait, 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 you see, this is only 50 parts, let's go back here, 
this is 50 parts and we already see game is laggy we see a major drop in fps really really a major drop now it improves just a little but still laggy and that's why i'm saying today performance is the key for this game's success if they will not do anything on day one then it will be a huge problem uh, for anyone who would like to play this game this is below 30 frames per second with 50 only 50 parts and just to avoid showing you that it's very laggy he speeded it up and this is how the clouds really look like this is cloud level so tell me is this beautiful and pretty or this is a little lame and shameful on the devs that they did such a bad work if there is a cloud it should be uh, bubbly on the top and on the bottom and they should be on different levels like two three layers like we have in really in the new EVE mod uh, that is having volumetric clouds there are two layers of clouds at least there so that we can watch to be honest I think there are three layers to be honest but yeah we need to be very focused to see all of them at once uh, and in a good spot because sometimes they never cross with each other but still more volumetric than this Uh, 18 parts on each booster mm, okay you counted 18 parts on each booster i don't think so it was four plus nozzle okay then it's five and he has eight of them plus engine so six times eight i would say you see you can see it correctly plus one decoupler so seven yeah seven times eight it's not really that much okay it's 40 uh two no 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 seven times eight, it's 56 okay then more then more more sorry then it's more then it will be like okay 60 70 parts okay this is 70 more or less they played this on 40 80 so even higher uh, graphic card but not higher power to be honest than 30 80 so yeah a small improvement in performance yes but not huge one so 3080 is more or less the designated for now uh, regarding price to performance uh, what i can say uh, as the high-end uh, product or equivalent a uh, high only bls black death oh my god get over the clouds <laughs> Uh, sorry I, I stopped but I want to show you the effect how it really looks and uh, how good or bad is it and and yeah this is how it is okay we we already know this so we can go forward with those camera chases and and this is what I don't like in the game it's too big this animation is just too big there really yeah to be really be in the game if you are getting too close of it then it's it's ugly in my opinion sorry 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 but yeah you will see what i mean uh, hopefully in a moment okay let's see because this is standard thing here see the carbine is so small and this beacon is so huge like the whole jewel system almost yeah and Come on it should be like so small like here on the moon and it's it's just huge and it's distracting when you play and still when you enter the moon you don't know how you will go you will go slowing yourself down or going faster and that's something that they took from us from ksp1 because we normally always knew how good will this, this gravity assist be and how bad it will never be you know but yeah at some point maybe they will improve this 
this is what I'm telling you. This is too big when you zoom in even, yeah? It should adapt to our view, more or less. Okay, let's see the crash landing. And okay, we are going fast, 30,000. So 30 kilometers, 800 to beat. Okay, 800 meters per second. Let's see how it goes. Uh, yes, they made the reaction wheels weaker. Well, there are no reaction wheels, to be honest. He has here mostly, uh, yeah, the core, and that's it. There are no extra reaction wheels. So they didn't make them that much weaker. There's one Kerbal in one pod with one reaction wheel there. I, I could not identify any other reaction wheels here. So it's really very easy to rotate, to be honest. So in this case, it's not weaker. But okay, we will see on Friday. We will see on Friday. I will definitely go somewhere. Uh, you can choose the place I will go first on the Patreon. It's for free. Nothing is needed there. Just vote and that's it. And I think this will be a crash landing. Definitely one of the first moon crash landings. And mission failed. Okay, let's go forward. Uh, he's redoing it. Okay. So speed up. And this time... This one time is a better design. But we already saw that. And of course, with so little part count, the game looks beautiful and behaves correctly. But I think here he has like 20 something. It's very nice how the camera behaves when you go to uh, on EVA with the Kerbal. Because it, it's more focused and um, rotates a little whenever Kerbal moves aside. <clears throat> and that's nice, to be honest. Okay, let's just make this faster. Oh, he's even speeding up the recovery. So yeah, let's make it even faster. Because this, there is the one thing that I don't love that we don't have. And again, a different design. Okay, so it's good that I went faster there. And it's he doesn't have he really a slope or too much slope, maybe five degrees ish. Let's see here on the nav ball. He's having like, yeah, just a few degrees. And he's standing, but no, no, he's not standing. RCS, I see RCS. Okay, we'll, we'll just stand. It's less than 5 degrees off on the slope. Okay, he managed to, to have this, but you can see now, as normally on the moon, like 15 degrees slope is not an issue. And here, no re-entry uh, re heat and everything else is just without effects. And as well here, the physics of, uh, of the drag are not where they should be, this small shoot should, uh, well, push the the crew, uh, crew pod to the side. And this is how it normally works. And in real life, I think it would be exactly the same. And of course, yeah, very weak reaction wheels, very weak. <laughs> but okay, on the back, we he uh, here on the right, we saw some problems with the staging. But I'm already used to that. Hey, we will have some jet fighter here. Okay, nice. Let's see where he will go. Oh, wait, I know where he will go. But what worries me here is how the game behaves regarding stability for leveling. And uh, yeah, and whenever we just pass 50 meters per second, we go, got those cool airstrips, but they are a little less natural as they should be. Because, come on, when the planes are landing, none of them have, has the, those effects, to be honest. Not at 40 meters per second. Come on. It's just unrealistic for me as well, unfortunately. Mm, don't want to be a, a bad person here, but, but yeah. And here the, the stability assist. <laughs> Yeah, you need to pitch it up or something because it's just flapping you like a bird. 
And this is something that also needs to be corrected. As you can see, no one presses the buttons that fast. <laughs> A little. Yeah, he turned off the SAS and directly, boom, it behaves better. Yeah, on SAS, come on. It should be the opposite way. <laughs> and of course, attempt to go to orbit. I don't know if he can make it. Let's see. No, he even cut this part. Probably didn't make it. Okay, and he landed on the airfield. So I told you that this will be happening. Uh, so let's see how the in island looks like. And with that much, let's say, reduction on texture, because they are mostly going to high details when you are very close, we should have as well better performance that we, well, not have, to be honest. Okay, we have another landing, and this is on Ike this time. Here we can see it from the top. And, oh, he's doing his yeah, graphics check. So for him, it's A for the graphics, that's good. I think this as well is the last thing um, we will see here. Um, yeah, I think it's the end of everything. So let's go and see what we have there. Creator, uh, what if I stack one capsule in another to get powerful reaction wheel? No, there are reaction wheels as a part, definitely. So no worries there. Uh, you don't need to uh, stack on each other so, some crew pods or something uh, because we have in-game reaction wheels by default. So no worries here and they will be still there in the game. But I wonder how the game behaves when we need to push this universal uh, ship into space as it looks like it has a lot of parts and additionally lifting rocket should have even more i wonder are those here structural parts uh, being uh, robotic parts or are they fixed that's a good question to be to answer and how the relay network will behave because as far as i could see in the settings uh, we cannot disable a relay connection. So uh, ComSat is a must-have. So if you play the game without it so far, you will need to learn this. That you need to have constant communication without Kerbals or we need to take Kerbals with you all the time. No robotic parts. So they are fixed then. So it was not that easy to put this craft into space with that air drag, to be honest. So interesting, interesting. How how was it done? Maybe with those airlocks here, uh, we they used the docking ports hmm? and from the sides, who knows, who knows? But uh, yeah, every design will be tested, definitely, since day one. And so far I see uh, we will have, uh, besides me, two people that will buy the game and really play it so okay like three from 50 that i saw till now in the live stream that's not that much to be honest hmm. i wonder how the wish list will look in like day one after people buy the game so i am counting the numbers using the steam db so let's have our official number on day one, how many copies were sold because the wish lists uh, were emptied. Yeah, that will be a very nice uh, number. And uh, you can uh, <laughs> try to guess how many copies will be sold on day one. Leave it in the comment section. Yeah, let's see. Mm, let's see who's close. And if someone will be very close, I will then think about some kind of a reward for that person, just don't know yet what it will be, but yeah, fingers crossed. Let's see, can we get a good estimation uh, in the chat, uh, in the comments? Yeah, who knows, who knows? Any other questions or any questions so far? Maybe we need to go again regarding something. Oh, creator already thinks 20,000 copies. Okay, yeah. good estimation. Now, like I said, in the comments, in the comments when the live is, is done. Let's try to focus here still on the performance. Maybe I need to go back to some footage 
Um, if not, then we will be shortly finishing for today. But let's see. I will use that time to thank you all for all those 27 likes. It was nice to have you with me today again. And I will still try to find some new footage for tomorrow evening. So yeah, if there will be something new from new creators, then we'll have a look uh, through what they created and maybe you will find bugs or not. Hopefully not, but yeah, mo most of the content that is or will be right now will be mostly edited, so finding bugs will be hard, but we maybe will see performance indicators with uh, some part count, who knows. Yeah, he's doing one video per day till the lunch, so he plans to uh, upload four, so far there are two. Tomorrow will be the next one and after tomorrow will be uh, another one and he will probably play the game as I will whenever it's available. Um, yeah, as we are in the same time zone. <laughs> but who knows, who knows? I think he definitely he will do a live feed if he's not working. But he didn't say, I think, uh, when he will do a first uh, next session. So maybe he will just record a normal video like he does uh, every week. So it will come out on Saturday or Sunday um, to uh, all of us. So he will have two days to some design something and go somewhere. I will try to do uh, live feeds uh, for you guys and girls. So you can see uh, yeah, what we can do in the game and how it behaves. Okay, and I think that's it then for today. And uh, thank you, Leon, for all the tips. Uh, much appreciated. For all of you that doesn't know this already, uh, you are welcome on the Discord channel. A Discord server, sorry. <laughs> so please join. Uh, the community is growing there regarding KSP, so the more the merrier. Um, I'm inviting you right now. Join. And yeah, I will definitely share more of some unedited footage and live gameplay there. Uh, that will not be live, of course, on the YouTube, because definitely I will test, train and design something off air and I will share that only on Discord. So yeah, if you want to see even more, then join, join us, join the cult of KSP2 players or future players. Okay, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and see you hopefully tomorrow. Bye.